this next video is going to look at the functionality or some of the functionality available in Vault Workgroup. The two things we're going to look at are the revision control and the automatic file naming. With revision control, a file is put into a category. The category will assign a lifecycle scheme and a revision scheme to the file. The schemes that I'll be using are all default ones that are available in the uh, right out of the box. They are completely customizable to match the workflow and the needs of the customer. I'm going to start by taking this clamp drawing and selecting all the files that go along with it and going up here to change category. When I do that, I'm going to be able to assign it to an engineering category. By default, the engineering category knows what lifecycle scheme and revision scheme to put on a file. When I say OK, it's going to go through and assign that category, which will in turn assign a work in progress state and a revision A to all these files. I'm also going to select all these files and put them into a release state. So I'm going to go up here to change state. And this flexible release, release process that is one of the default lifecycle schemes in Vault, Vault Workgroup has a number of lifecycle states I can put the file into. I'm going to put it into a release state and then say OK. So now this entire design is released and ready for production. Now what I want to do is I want to walk through a scenario with Inventor that will enable me to change these files. As of right now, if I do a refresh here, I'll notice that I do not have the ability to change any of these files because of that release state. The Vault tab and do an Open from Vault and open that file, open that drawing. When I change my model to a Vault view, you'll notice that there's locks on all these files basically telling me that I do not have the ability to check the files out because of the release date. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these with a right click. I can say change state. That will enable me to put it into a work in progress state. And then I'd have the ability to check it out and make changes if necessary. I'm actually just going to add a little cutout to my clamp there. I'll save this, close that out, make sure my assembly is updated, save it, close it, make sure my assembly updates, save my drawing, and then again I'll make sure I check this in. And right from here I can then again change state back to a release state. You can configure states as to what can happen to them while they're in a given state. By default the release state in what I'm using it, uh, does not allow anybody to check it out. I have my lifecycle scheme set that when, a, when I take a file from a release state to a work in progress state that it automatically bumps the revision. So you can see here that all of these are now on a rev B. Now let's take a quick look at the automatic file naming in Vault Workgroup. I'm going to close out what I have here in Inventor. I'm going to start a brand new standard IPT. I'll just make a cylinder here to, to make a part quick here.
I have some naming schemes created inside my vault. So when I go to save this file, because I'm logged into the vault, it's going to ask me which naming scheme do I want to use. I'm going to use Mesa uh, uh, as opposed to the sequential one. I'll say OK. And it's going to automatically assign a name to what I'm able, what I'm using here. I can override this, but this is by default the name it's going to use. I'll go ahead and just move up here one level and save this. Now, one thing to also kind of note here, if I close this out, go to another part file. In this scenario, if I say skip, it will just allow me to save it as whatever I would like to. If I cancel this, if I go here and say save, and choose that MESA file or that MESA scheme again, say OK, it now knows I'm on number one. Basically, there's a tracker or a ticker in the background that, select, that ticks up one every time I save a file or every time I pull a file from the scheme. If I skip one, it's, just, it's always skipped. I cannot go back and, and retrieve it unless I know that name was not used.